Praise the Lord for the rain. Amen. 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 God is good. All the time. And all the time. Amen. 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 Would you stand be please? Turn to page 169. We're going to go hello tonight. We can go off of Poco style. <laughs> hey. Amen. Okay. 169. 169. <coughs> Come the fount of every blessing to my heart. shouldn't be dark out and so uh praise the lord uh whatever happens happens i'm not yeah. worried about it Amen. and so Amen. so anyway uh, uh brother charlie's gonna come and they're gonna sing a couple songs before we do i want to take up an offering tonight uh for brother kenny and uh mainly for miss janet i'm not real worried about brother kenny but for miss janet i really like yeah, her she, 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 <laughs> she got paid she just bought a whole bunch of stuff on brother kenny's credit card so i want to help them out uh, Brother Jer Jerm, Brother Joe, why don't you guys come help me? <clears throat> Y'all bring that. Alright, Jerm, pray for us. Dear God, we love you today. Thank you, Lord, for this great day you've given us today. I thank you for giving us the rain you gave us last night. And I pray that you bless this offering. And I pray that you just bless this service you gave us. You'll give us Jesus. Amen. All my money is either in the backpack or at home. Hmm? All my money is either in my backpack at home or at the home what I gave you. singing with him tonight or not, but uh, he's going to sing a couple songs and then uh, get right into the preaching. Yeah. 
man. So that's that's what we're here for, really. Yeah. I mean, I love hearing the singing. I do. I love the singing, but man, when they come, man. Amen. I'll be honest. I get less trouble singing. I uh, know that's right. <laughs> <coughs> I'm thankful we have somebody that cares for us. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ. No matter what kind of situation you get in, he's, he's always there. He said he'd never leave us nor forsake us.
<laughs> I'm glad that the Lord, you know, there's a lot of uh, things, you know, about the Lord. He passes by, but it's better when he stays. Amen. I mean, it's nice for him to pass by, but we don't really just want him to pass by. We want him to come in here. Sit down with Amen. Them. That's, That's right. right. That's what we want. But definitely in the Bible, when the Lord passed by, things were different. Amen. Amen. Jesus passed by. Who did it would arise? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Some that were blind, he opened their eyes. Now, 
Well, let's pray before we do go any farther. Dear Father, we realize that the electricity is going to go off. Lord, I sure do appreciate you stopping by last night. Yes. yes. Thank you for the people that have done business with the Lord. Thank you for the ones that were saved. Amen. Amen. God, I thank you, God, for all that you do. Well, Father, you know I can't preach without you. Don't want to. Right. Father, this is what you've led me to. And near as I can figure it out, Lord, in my mind. God, I pray now, God, that you would just bless it and use it to thy glory. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. It says in chapter 11 and verse 1, says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, and evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Right. I just want you to notice there, it wasn't work that got their report. Right. Amen. It's faith. That's right. Yeah. Now, it says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. Let me tell you that everything I'm hoping for, I found in this book. Right. Amen. Yeah. So I think we can stop right there. Faith coming by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Amen. Right. Yeah. I think we can say right there that the substance of faith is the word of God. Amen. Amen. So in order to have faith, you need to have substance. Therefore, you need to read. Right. That's right. Yeah. And believe. Right. And memorize. Right. Amen. And love. Right. The word of God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Faith. It's not, again, it's not a mystery of what faith is. Yeah. Faith is just knowing what God says and believing it. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Well, that's good. And yeah. doing it. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Faith is the substance of those things. And we understand about substance. Let me give you one term that's well used today. And I, I, I taught this, I know, here. But this is just to help you get into the message. Substance abuse. Yeah. That's a familiar topic in our society today. That's right. Now we know that what happens when you have substance abuse is that that substance controls your life. Yes. Yep. So basically, if you've got problems, you need to get off of what you're on and get on Jesus Christ. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's going to cure you. It works in a jailhouse. That's right. I'm just telling you, in prison, the most uh, the 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 they they will not know. State prison will tell you this in West Virginia, Missouri, or any place else. But the, the programs that have the most effect on our prisoners are the Christian based Bible oh, yeah. based programs. It's true. That's it. They have more, uh, they have a greater percentage of people not returning. Yeah. This went through those programs. It's Amen. true. I'm not saying it's all, but I believe Jesus Christ is the answer. Amen. Amen. Yes, and amen. you need to get hooked on him. Yes. You need the substance of heaven. It's yes. that all the substance of this earth. That's right. right. All the substance that comes in with it. Amen. If you get that heavenly substance, you'll be better off. Amen. And it said that the faith of the substance <coughs> is the same tough for and the evidence of things not seen. Well, what makes a professional land surveyor quit his job? start preaching, oh, yeah. and go into evangelism. The evidence of things not seen. Amen. When he don't know nobody. What makes a drunkard lay down his bottle and pick up a Bible? So right. The church? Amen. The evidence of things not seen. That's good. You know, I want to see some invisible evidence in your life. Right. Come on. Part of it is just simply coming to church and being faithful. Right. That's evidence that something's different in your life. Hey, but a raised hand once in a while, a shout, a testimony, that helps along the way. Amen. Yeah, right? you're passing out tracts, that shows me there's something different from you. You just not want to do that stuff. Amen. Amen. Come on. All I'm saying is, these two things, substance and evidence, Right. it's what God's looking for. Amen. It's what your preacher's looking for. Yeah, come on. And it's really what the world is looking for, and yeah. you don't even know it. That's right. Amen and amen. But in this, we find but with that substance and that evidence, we get a good report card. Amen. Praise now, God. I don't know about you, but I never wanted to bring back a bad report card. Right? Amen. My dad and mom just couldn't understand it. Why did you get such bad grades? <laughs> yeah. Must be because you're lazy. And back in those days, the back in those days, the teacher was never wrong. Right. Yeah. I mean, I don't care what I said about the teacher. I still got right. it. Right. Amen. 
And my dad never said a word to the teacher. <laughs> How about that? Amen. And if I got in trouble at school, all my excuses were to avail. There was nothing. Amen. Because I got a weapon when I got home. Right. And you said, well, how'd that happen? My sister told on me. <laughs> <laughs> a little turned coat. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> now, I didn't get in as much trouble as she did. She, she was the one. She was the one. If there was a fight, a girl fight, <coughs> I guarantee it. Amen. See, I'm a hillbilly. What we call boys fight and girls fight. Amen. <laughs> I don't know about Kansas, but that's what it is out there. Yeah. You know, now it said it goes on to say they obtained a good report, and through faith we understand. Amen. You can't well, really understand good. without faith. Right. We understand why well, that's good. We don't we understand that we didn't come from worms. And, Amen. You know, we didn't there was some slime, you know, there, the, one of the things that well there was some slime on a rock and lightning struck it and light came forth. I didn't come from slime. Amen. Amen. And my great, 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 it's not a monkey, okay? Amen. I, I think it takes more faith to believe that than to believe yeah, right. I'll guarantee you. Yep. And what God did, amen. So we see, we understand all those things. And then it says, by faith, Abel offered, we can't offer a more excellent sacrifice on the God. We can't offer sacrifices without faith. That's right. Amen. And faith is important. We find that Enoch was translated that he should not see death. Why was he translated? Because of his faith. Right. Amen. 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 Now look what it says in verse 6. But without faith it's impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. How about that? So, if you want to please God, you can't do it without faith. Yeah. Amen. And you can't do it without the Word of God. Right. right. Sure. So the devil, if the devil can take the Word of God away from you, then you'll never please God. That's right. Because your faith won't be rest, resting in the Word of God. Absolutely true. Amen? Yes. Yeah. You have to have the right substance. Yeah, that's good. Now, I'd just like to say that I wasn't always saved. But back the days, if you wanted to really mess somebody up bad, you messed with their substance. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. I mean, what if we went out there and put a little bit of sugar in the gas tank? Yeah. Let's right. make it sweeter. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's saying today, you know, you preach too hard. You need to make it sweeter. Yeah. Well, you put a little sugar in the gas tank, is it going to, what's going to happen to <laughs> it? Won't make it, sweeter. <laughs> it don't take much sugar to mess it up. Right. Amen. What I'm saying is, when you mess with the substance, now the Word of God is the substance, so what's the devil do? He changes the Word of God. Yeah, yeah that's right. And gives you a similar substance, yeah. but it's not the same thing. It's not what you need. Amen. Yeah. It messes you up. Amen. Amen. Good. Faith. And the Word of God are intertwined. That's right. Faith, the Word of God, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Three, three strands. That's right. Amen. You cannot braid without three strands. That's right. Anybody, you, the girls know that. They know how to braid hair. You got to have three, or it won't stay together with them. You got to have three. Amen. Got to faith. You got to have the Word. But the words of Jesus Christ, and you got to go with the Holy Ghost. Right. You got to have it. So we see it. We have an understanding of what faith is. And now we go down to you, <coughs> and we see what well, we've already mentioned Abel and Cain, uh, Abel and Enoch. And then we go on down to Noah, great men, great men. And we know Abraham, my, my father Abraham, what a great man. And then we look down here, Sarah, Abraham's wife, she's right in there, Hall of, Hall of Fame of Faith. Oh, great woman, great woman. And it said, uh, he goes on down there and he gives some more. It talks about uh, it talks about Isaac, how wonderful he is in this chapter of faith. It talks about Jacob. It, it talks about Joseph. Oh, Joseph, wasn't he a great man of faith? What yeah. he went through and held on to his dream. Amen. Amen. And then Moses. 
My yeah. goodness, what a what a statesman, what a preacher, what a prophet. Amen. Moses, man, he was a great, great man, amen. Seeing the invisible, it says. And then we get down to verse 31. And it says, <coughs> The harlot Rahab right. finished not with them that believed not when she had received the spies when I got to verse 31, I said, what in the world is going on here? <laughs> yeah, come on. Why is this harlot in the hall of fame of faith? I'd like to preach tonight on the faith of a harlot. Amen. It's not what you were. It's what he can make you. Amen. Amen. Faith. Let's go back and look at this story. If you go back to Joshua chapter 2, we'll find in verse 1, And Joshua the son of Nun sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came into a harlot's house, named Rehab, and lodged there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thy house, for they be come to search out all the country. And the woman took the two men and hid them and said thus, There came men unto me, but I wist not whence they were. And it came to pass, about the time of the shutting of the gate, and it was dark that the men went out, with, uh, with, whether the men went, I wot not. Pursue after them quickly, for ye shall overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the stalks of the flax, which she had laid in order on the roof. And the men pursued after them the way to Jordan onto the boards. And as soon as they as they which pursued after them were gone out, they shut the gate. And before they were laid down, she came up unto them unto the roof, and she said unto them, I know that the Lord hath given you the land, and that your terror has fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. Yeah. Now it's interesting to me of all the places for the two spies to show up these two Hebrew men yeah. was to go to the harlot's house. All right. Now I've been told that if you want to find out something, that's probably the place to go. All right. Amen. Sure. Now that's just the way it is. Yeah. Amen. I mean, uh, she probably knew everything was going on. But it's interesting to me uh, that these two men came by there. Amen. I'd just like to say, uh, I'm glad that a representative, a couple representatives came by my house one way. Come by me, amen. I'm glad somebody told me about the Lord Jesus yeah. Christ. I'm glad somebody witnessed to me and told me, amen. amen. And in Proverbs chapter 13, 17, it says, A wicked messenger falleth into mischief, but a faithful ambassador is help, amen. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, in verse 20, it says, Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. Right. Right. As though God hey. did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. Hey. Amen. Thank you. Now, I believe not only did they go there for information, but I believe God led them there. Amen. I believe that's where, that's the person that needed the most help in the entire city, amen. That's the only person that would have hit them. That's the only person that would have helped them. Amen. That's the only person that would have accepted the truth, amen. Yeah. It's the only one that they needed to go to. They went to the right door, right. and they knocked on the right door because they were led by the Lord, amen, to do that. Amen. Yeah. I think when we go on visitation, Come on. We ought to pray about it. Yes, yes sir. sir. Everybody. Yeah. We ought to pray about it. Absolutely. We ought to wonder if I'm going, I'm a representative of the Lord. I want to go with the Lord once. Amen. You might not get dog bit as much if you go with the Lord once. Amen. 
He'll prepare that old stupid dog, amen. He'll make you go to sleep, amen. Yeah. I mean, if you go where you're supposed to, they all better be waiting for you. How many times you knocked on the door and the Lord's already been there? Hey, I've been there and I've just simply told them I'm here telling about Jesus Christ and they started crying. Hey, man. I've been to the hospital room the same way. Yeah. Walked in five minutes later. Hey, one of the Lord. Hey, Amen. Yeah. I didn't do it, but the Lord did. That's right. yeah. He'd already prepared your hearts before I ever got there. Right. But that's where God led me. Amen. Right. And back in those days, I was so dumb, I didn't even know he'd lead me. Amen. But I just tried to do what I thought he wanted me to do. Amen. Good, brother. I didn't even realize sometimes he's talking to me. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. He was. What I'm trying to tell you, you don't have to be real smart for God to use you. Oh, that's right. Boy, that's right. I'm Amen. living proof of it. Thank you, Lord. He used yeah. a donkey in the Bible. Amen. <laughs> a talking donkey. That's about what me and Rusty are. Amen. Yeah. Hey, glory. Amen. <laughs> but we're talking the right talk. That's right. Amen. I don't claim to be much. No, sir. Amen. But I am in the Lord's heart. How about that? I like what my I like what my son in law said. He was in the ring. He said, I don't when he had his uniform on, he said, I don't expect you to respect me. But he pointed to that emblem on his chest. He said, but I expect you to respect, respect this. Amen. This represents our country. Right. Yeah. And he said, long time before I put this uniform on, he said, I put another uniform on. Yeah, come on. You don't need to respect me, but you need to respect the blood of Jesus. Amen. 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 That's good. You don't have to respect. You don't even have to like me. Amen. I want you to like me, but you don't have to. Sure. But you ought to respect the blood. Yes, sir. You ought to respect who this Bible represents. Amen. Amen. And who I represent. Yes, that's sir. right. You know what Rahab realized? There was something here more than just two men. Amen. There was an opportunity to change a life. Amen. There was something different about these two. Amen. That's right. I'd like to say, first of all, not only the two representatives came by, but they're, hey, God, my God, has a reputation. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, she'd already heard about him. Amen. Amen. And I tell you, out there in the world, they've already heard about God. Amen. Yeah, right. They've heard about him. You go know, to these other foreign countries, they've heard about him. They've rejected him. They know about him. He's got a reputation. Hey, and they know about God. Right. Yeah. They don't want him. They know him. We find. My God has a reputation in Psalms 81.10. I am the Lord, thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. Isaiah 42.8. I am the Lord, that is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Yeah. Amen. Right. In Isaiah 43.11. I am even I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. Amen. And Amen. Isaiah 44, 6, it said, Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and His Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and yes. besides me there is no God. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 5, I am the Lord, and there is none else. Amen. Amen. Isaiah chapter 45 and verse 6, I am the Lord, and there is none else. Jeremiah right. chapter 32 and verse 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh, is there anything too hard for me? No. I'm telling you, my God has a reputation. Amen. He's the Lord of lords and the King of kings. Amen. He sits upon the throne of glory and nothing happens that he doesn't know about. Amen. And he loves you and he wants to save you and he wants to bring you to heaven with you. Amen. I'd like to say John chapter 6 and verse 35, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. 
Right. He goes on in John 8, 12. I am the light of the world. Amen. In John 10, 9. I am the door. By me if any man enter in, he shall be saved. Amen. In yeah. John chapter 10, verse 11. I am the good shepherd. Yeah. And the right. good shepherd giveth his life. His life for the sheep. Amen. Right. Amen. In John 11, 25. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. Yeah. Amen. Amen. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Amen. 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 He said in John chapter 14, 6, And Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In right. John 15, 1, I am the true vine. Amen. I'm telling you, my God's Amen. got a reputation. He's got a reputation as a man of war. Amen. Yeah, he hey, he's got a reputation as a savior, the loving one, amen. The amen. one that died for us, the amen. Lamb amen. of God. But I've got news for you when he's coming back again. He's the Lord of Lords. Come on. He's the King of Kings. That's right, preacher. He's got his battle clothes on. Amen. amen. He's coming back as a man of war. Amen. 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 You need to get in. Good. Now, Amen. Tonight, Amen. my God's got a reputation. Yes, he does. My God needs no support. He does not depend upon me. I depend upon Him. That's right. right. I can't do nothing without Him. That's right. I am alive because of His precious blood. Yes. Hey, other gods in this world need help. <laughs> I remember they took the Ark of the Covenant. The Philistines took it over and placed it in their temple. Right. Where their great god Dagon. That's just right. Half fish, half man. Yep. And poor old Dagon fell over the first night. Amen. <laughs> He's laying there with his hands down. That's right. Him. Amen. They didn't get the message. They yep. propped him back up. My God, don't need prop. Amen. He's alive. He's alive. He's not a piece of stone. He's not a rock. Amen. He's not an internet. He's not a computer. He's the God of gods and the Lord of lords. Amen. Woo. Yes, Lord. So the next day they come back. Poor old Dagon. That fell over again. <laughs> this time he chopped his hands off. That's right. My God don't need your support. Amen. He wants your love. That's, That's right. right, preacher. Because he first loved you. Amen. My God's got a reputation. That's good. He's got a reputation as being the lover of souls. Yes. Yes. <coughs> and he showed his love at Calvary. Amen. Boy, you know what old Rahab was thinking? We ain't got a chance. That's right. Is not when they're God with them. Yeah. Amen. You know, that's the way I used to be with the church. Come on. In a You're right, preacher. Right. Nobody went against the church. That's right. It used to be like that. Amen. What happened? God didn't change. That's right. It's us. You know what happened? Used to, we leave church and we tell the whole community how God worked miracles. Come on. How we touched our hearts. How the preaching was great. Yeah. Now we can't run home to get to our TVs and we don't tell nobody nothing. All right. Mm. Preach. Don't depend on the newspapers to tell them how good the revival was. That's right. We got to do it. There's no television show places going to come down here. And if they do cover this, they'll make us look like a bunch of fools. Yeah, that's right. You are his witness. Amen. You want to get people to come? Go out and tell them. Amen. Man, I had a good time last night. Boy, yeah. Amen. If the oh, preaching was good, it's good. If the singing's good, it's good. If you enjoyed it, you act like you're enjoying it anyway. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you know what? God had a report. Yeah. Everybody's talking about him. Oh, man. Come on. All the hit the Rahab had heard it all. Jericho Times, man. Yeah, that's right. The newspaper. All the strangers were coming in. Do you hear what happened to Gog and 
a nog and all those other egg fellows over there. <laughs> Man, he cut their heads off, cut their thumbs off. Man, he wiped them out. What a God, what a God. Amen. And Jeremo, and all of Jericho was shaking in the boots. Amen. Used to be that way in America. Yeah. I've heard stories about there was some down in there, Mississippi, Myrtle, Mississippi. One time, there was a bunch of ruffians who were going to come across the river because they were having a meeting on one side of the river. And they went, this is many years ago. And the preacher 